Hello all my Alloids out there, I'm Fixing Alloy One here, welcome back to another awesome exciting episode of Sky Factory, we've been making progress, if you remember last episode we made the sieve so we can start sifting, which is how you get your ores and your stones, so you can start making cobblestone, and I told you guys that our next mission was to make a magma, a crucible, so we can create lava, so we can get a cobblestone generator made, well I've been doing a lot of work off camera over the past week pretty much, and as you can see, we're on day 38. Well, this is our island now. As you can see, I went ahead and moved the water over here. We made an infinite water source to start off with. Eventually, I want to make like a park or something. So we got that going. We got our little lineup going over here for dirt and our sifting machine and our furnace. And over here, as you guys can see, I've made myself a bit of a house. And you guys are like, wow, I'm sure you guys were like, wow, those are like some fancy blocks. How do you get that? Well, that's the mods. All you gotta do is you want a chisel, and it's real easy and cheap to make. Now this is not the chisel you want. I thought that was a chisel, and that's not the one you want. What we want, now when you search it, it doesn't come up right. So you gotta go a couple pages in, and it's right, it's right, it's right there, chisel. And if you click it, it's just a stick and an iron ingot. And now I can show you guys what the chisel does. This is it right here. It says right click to open GUI. Left click chisel to block chisel blocks in world. Can target a block by leaving it in the inventory. Now, if I right click with the chisel, you see it brings up this. Now if I stick a block in there, it's gonna bring up all these different options of what I can do with that block. Like uh, if I stick the cobblestone in here. Now you wanna be careful not to click because if you click something, you're gonna take that whole stack and turn it into that. And we need this cobblestone. But first, what we wanna do is we want to go ahead and get rid of all of our stuff. We don't want nothing in our inventory at all. And I will show you guys why here in just a second. So we went ahead and cleared our inventory. And you guys will see this area over here. This is our cobblestone. This is where our generator is going to go. Now, you guys, if you guys don't know what this is, this is all crafting stations. If you take a crafting table, and I can show you guys real quick. I think I have a spare crafting table in here. Yes. If you take, because at this point in the game you're not going to have a lot of cobblestone I'm sure you can grind out oh my god I got another big tree I just went through a whole stack of saplings making dirt uh, if you take you can grind out the cobblestone really yeah, that's going to take forever but uh, if you take crafting tables won't catch on fire but if you, so if you take these crafting tables and you stick it in your inventory your little crafting section there you get a crafting station you stick that in there and you get the little slab and that's what I built this out of and it won't burn and I put up a little rail system so we don't have to worry about nothing catching on fire and I'm sure it's far enough away from my house that our house won't burn and I put this off to the side over here because eventually we're going to automate it in a later episode but that's farther on down the road so let's go ahead and drop this in our inventory now we want our bucket so we're going to take our bucket for now and we want to go ahead and take out seven bone meal and seven clay so we can make our crucible as you can see I moved our achievement stain here and that's what we're doing now uh, crafting cook crucible so we first thing we have to do is craft it. So we're gonna come over here to our crafting table. You put the clay and the bone meal together and you get porcelain clay. <coughs> <coughs> oh sorry guys, I got tickled in my throat. Hold on. Let me grab a drink. So we got the porcelain clay now. And we're gonna do that just like if we're making a cauldron in that shape there, and that gives us an unfired crucible. Well it's two and two together to get a fire crucible, which is our ultimate goal. We need to throw it in the furnace and you'll see it's going to start cooking it, it's going to cook 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 it a little bit more and we got a crucible. Now we can't just place this down and expect it to work, we have to be able to heat it up so we're actually going to need some wood. Two should be enough, two is plenty enough for what I'm doing and I didn't bring my axe with me but it'll be okay and let's grab a little bucket of water. So we're going to break this block right here, and we're going to break this block right here. And this is where things are getting scary because we got to put this. This is why we got rid of our inventory because we got to go down. Actually, I shouldn't have to go down. I don't think I got to go down. I think that will work right there. We're not going to need our bucket of water. Um, oh shit! What can I do with it though? Let's just. Okay, we put it back. That works. Okay, because we should be able to stick a torch right there. Let's just go ahead and grab a piece of charcoal and let's grab one more piece of wood so we can make some sticks. And I'm pretty sure if we stick our torch right there, it'll work just fine. 
I didn't have to empty my inventory after all. Yeah, we can stick that right there. Now we're going to take our crucible and we're going to stick it on top of that torch. So you'll see it's melting speed 1. Now if we have lava underneath it, it's melting speed 2. If you can get netherrack and start a fire underneath it, it's melting speed 3. So, let's go ahead and drop off. We don't need this no more. Let's go get all our stuff back out of our chest over here. Because we didn't have to do that in the end after all. So, we want... Sword. Oh, it's pulling in the wrong direction. So we'll do 2 and 3. And now we're going to go ahead and we'll take back all these. I'll take back all these. I'm going to take back this axe. We don't need the dirt, but we do need these chisels. We'll put these torches in here. Uh, put the stick right here. This goes right here. Oh, we want our apples back. They go right there. We'll put this right here, this right here, this right here. Uh, just doing a quick rearrangement right here, just to make sure everything's nice and pretty-ish. That can actually go on our hot bar, and we should be good. We have everything we need. Now, let's go ahead and eat an apple. And the next step for our crucible here is we gotta cook some cobble. So that right there is enough for a bucket of lava. It's gonna take 1,000 megabytes of fluid lava. So you can see where it says fluid lava and it's filling up and this solid cobblestone's cooking, this cobblestone's gonna turn into lava. So let's go ahead and grab the water portion of our magma cruise our little uh cobblestone generator. Wow, I just like totally drew a blank right there. I forgot what I was doing. Let's go ahead and drop the water for this. So we're going to put it there, and we got it flowing down. Now, I got it flowing down. I found anyone who's played Skyblock, and I had this problem in my first world. I kept making obsidian, because you never really need to make a cobble generator unless you're in Skyblock, and I've never really found something good on Skyblock I want to record it. But you want it to flow down. That's going to keep it from turning into obsidian so now a piece of cobble will go generate there now the bucket I'm using is a fire clay bucket and that's real easy you just take the clay in the shape of like if this was clay just like a regular bucket and it makes a clay bucket on fire clay bucket and then you throw it in the uh, furnace fire clay bucket but we're gonna wait till this gets up to a thousand as you can see it's gonna take some time so we'll go ahead in the process of waiting let's take down this tree as you can see, I'm starting to get a collection of dirt going. Now that we got a cobblestone generator, you still want to keep collecting your, your dirt and stuff because we still got to make an area for animals to spawn and stuff. That is an achievement later on. I think it's the uh, next page we'll get the achievement, make a mob farm and make a spot for animals to spawn. And once you get the spot set up, it spawns so quick because the world, Minecraft by itself, wants to have so many creatures in the world and it can't spawn anything because there's nowhere it can spawn so the moment you get a grass block out of range of you it has to be 25 blocks away like I said we'll go more into it next episode or whatever episode ends up being in the next couple episodes we should be making our mob spawners and stuff but uh, it has to be at least 25 blocks away and once you get that right block for it to spawn on you'll get pigs and cows and all sorts of stuff really fast really cool but like I said, that's a later episode. We got time before we're doing any of that. We still got our we, once we get the cobble generator up, though, we'll be able to start building. It. We'll have tons of cobble. We'll start be able to start getting a lot of uh, to make it easier to start uh, sifting. And once you get the cobble generator, it's a lot better to start sifting gravel rather than powdering everything down. Just sift gravel, and you'll get everything you need. You can just hammer down what you gotta hammer down to get your resources cooked up. Alright, so that's all the leaves. Let's chop this down. We'll go ahead and go to sleep. Oh, we missed a leaf. There's a leaf right there. And it doesn't look like we got anything off of it. But still, that's not a risk we can pass up. Every sapling matters. We need the dirt blocks. Now, once we get the mob farm going, too, it'll be easier because we could throw stuff like rot flesh in there, spider eyes, things that we don't have use for yet. But like I said, in the meantime, we'll just keep making dirt with saplings. And our lava is at 378. Wow, it's gonna take a while. We got a lot of left to cook up. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna pause the recording and we'll wait. And I'll bring it back up when that's ready and we'll start up our cobble generator. Our magma's almost, almost there. But there was something else that we I was thinking we can do and I was looking at it in our like, quest book because I was like, oh, we can knock off some quests. But let's come in here and knock off the only quests that we've already done, like we've crafted and cooked crucible. We hated a crucible torch, and well, we're still doing that, so we're not going to check that yet. But we can start working on makers, tinkers, construct tools from Boner Flint. We can get Flint real easily now. 
and that's real easy to make. We're going to need three things. The first thing we're going to need is the stencil table. Stencil table. And that's oak wood planks and a plank pattern. You get a plank pattern with two oak wood planks and two sticks. And another thing we're going to want is the stencil chest. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. First thing we want is the stencil table. So let's go ahead and make that real quick. We do want that. So let's go ahead and get this. So we need one pattern. If we do that, that makes four blank patterns. And we know the first thing, the chest, is that. And so we have ourselves a stencil table. And that comes with some books. And those books right there are materials in U Volume 2 and Tinker's Weaponry. That teaches you how to. Oops. That teaches you how to use everything you got. So we're going to put you right here. So now if we open this up, it's going to give us all these little patterns. Now if we stick a blank pattern in here, and say we click this, it's going to give us the stencil for it. But we're going to get into that in a second. So the next thing we want is our pattern. Where is it? Well, we do want the pattern chest, which is a chest and a blank pattern. So let's go ahead and make that real quick. Uh, we're going to need some more wood. So let's make a chest and a blank pattern. And we're going to take this. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to break this right here. And we're going to put it right there. Because now we're going to make our pattern table. I don't know. Or is part. Is the part crafter? That's the part builder. We don't need that one first. We need. It's, it's got to be pattern. Pattern something. Where'd it go? We got, I was just looking at it all before we started doing this. Wait, hold on. Is it the tool station? Yes, that's what we need. The tool station. And that takes a crafting station and a blank pattern. Oh my god, I don't know why that took me so long to figure out. So we're going to make the crafting station, which like I showed you earlier. It's just we're going to take the crafting table there. Bam. Blank pattern. Bam. And tool station. Oh, oh my god. And we're going to put that right there. And, oh, nope. That's the last one on the line. Damn it. So I do want the part crafter. There it is. The part. This is the one I want, and that's just the wood. Okay, so uh, anyway, we got a little bit confused there, but this is the second one in the lineup, and this is the part builder. And this is the one you want to put on top of the stencil chest, because pattern chest. This, as you see, the pattern chest is merged with this now. So any patterns we put in here are going to stay in here. So first thing we want to do is let's get some more patterns built up. Ooh, I don't know what that was. That was fancy looking. So let's just go ahead and we'll make. Eight patterns that should be good because those fit in pattern chest too. So let's put these here, and we want to go ahead and build a pickaxe. Being as we are about to be using, well, that's tough binding. We want tough binding. We want the regular binding, tool binding patterns because we're going to be making, and then tool rod pattern. That's just a stick. So pickaxe there. We're going to be uh, mining cobblestone now. So oh my gosh, this tree just grew up all around me. So now if we come here, we could put these patterns in this chest. So now we'll always have patterns in the chest. Uh, no, we also stay in that. Those are okay right there. So we know we want, we need the pickaxe head. I guess we'll do it with stone to start with. We'll put you back. And let's go ahead and do this. Now if we put that stone there, you see we get the stone binding. And it gave us a stone shard. I'm not sure what the stone shards do yet, but sometimes you get lucky and get like a stone rod, which is pretty much just a stick made out of stone. But uh, anyway, if we come here to the tool station, we click on pickaxe. This is the order we got to put it in. So the head, the binding, the stick, we do that. Now we got a stone pickaxe. And the Tinker's Craft pickaxe is way more OP than a regular pickaxe because that will just take one stone to fix when that gets to the point where it's going to break. But anyway. We've done taking enough time. We should, yes, while our lava's cooked up, you guys see now there's lava inside there. Now, the only thing about this fire clay bucket is the first time we use it, it's going to go away. Because it's got lava in it, it's going to burn up. Well, that's okay. We don't need it to last long. We just got to come over here and bam! Cobblestone generator. There you go, guys.
So we can stand right here. Now I can even go a level of another level on the safety factor here. And just so we don't end up burning ourselves, let's do this. One should be enough. Yeah, we'll put one right here. Bam, see now we don't have to worry about walking into it. See, now we can just stand right here as close as we can. It's as close as we can get without burning ourselves in the lava. And there you go, guys. We can now start collecting cobble. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab up a few pieces of this cobble. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab three more pieces. Bring ourselves up to ten. In fact, there's another piece over here I can grab. Yeah, there's a couple pieces. Let's grab that. That puts us at ten. So we've got our cobble generator now. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. And let's look at our achievements. We'll knock some achievements out of the book. Alright, so we heated a crucible of torch, and search stones or cobble to make lava. We built a cobblestone generator. Next is make Tinker's Ton struck tools from bone or flint. Well, if you guys have been paying attention, sifting's really important. Now, like I said, we've been sifting mostly dust because we need bone meal. But we can also take, let's grab a few pieces. Let's go ahead and grab us some gravel. Now you guys, I'm sure you guys already see where this is going. Instead of breaking the gravel, if we sift the gravel, we can get flint. Now you also have a chance. Now you get the ores. The, 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 uh, the broken ore is what you get in this one. You make that in a four and you blah, 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 like we talked about earlier. But you also have a chance of getting the flint. You also have a chance of getting emeralds and diamonds. So let's go ahead and just, we're going to go ahead and sift all of these. Sift all of these. Sift it, sift it, sift it, sift it, sift it. And there you go. So let's see what we get. We got a broken aluminum ore, broken copper ore, and a flint. Hold shift. Sag mill grinding belt. Huh, that's something we'll probably get into later. So anyway, we've got a flint now. So we can go ahead and upgrade our tool. But the first thing we want to do is uh, we have to make the pickaxe. So we're going to go ahead and just make a pickaxe. Just watch this. This is how you upgrade your tools. And this is another good thing about it. Instead of making a bunch of pickaxes. So now the first thing we want to do is this has to be 100% made. So if we just stick a stone in this tool and use the tool station, it's 100% fixed. Now if we take this stone pickaxe and put it in there, add this flint pickaxe head, bam, we have a flint head pickaxe which knocks out another quest in the book. So if we come over and knock it off, bam, that's another page down and we have entered the stone age. We are all now officially stoned. Now that you have a good source of blocks, it's time to expand, upgrade, and improve your island a bit. So our next set of tasks, we want to make a dark room 25 blocks away from your base for spawning mobs getting loot. That'll probably be what we do next episode, make a mob farm. Make a field of grass 25 blocks away from your base for spawning animals. That's going to take some time because we got to get the dirt blocks up. We want a decent spot because there has to be enough room for them to spawn too. Build a second layer to your island below the level we started from, which is scary. Make obsidian with a stone barrel. Make a Tinker's Construct Smeltery for processing ore, and that will double our ore output, so that's definitely useful. Upgrade an existing Tinker's Tool part with a metal part, which you have to have the Smeltery in order to do that. It's the only way. We'll get into that in later episodes, so, though. So, automate your cobble generator with a transfer node. We want to do that one ASAP, as soon as we can. And because that's going to help us set up for automation, too, so we can automate SIFT. And update your monster farm to kill monsters automatically. So like I said, our next episode, we're going to get into making a dark room 25 blocks away from your base for spawning mobs and getting loot. Because we're going to need some mob drops in order to make the automated farm. And I don't want to make the cobble generator automated until I can also automate sifting. So we're going to wait a little bit on that. But we got a lot done this episode, guys. A lot accomplished. It's very exciting. If you guys like this episode, smack that like button. This is your first time here. Hit that subscribe button so you can see how our worlds expand and equal the rate. This is Unfixing Alloy 1. I will see you guys next time.